I have to talk about Florida. Florida is the most artificial place probably on Earth. Um, no. I think Dubai is probably the most artificial place on Earth. But other than that, Florida is the most artificial place on Earth. And why do I say that? Well, first off, it's not one of the 13 colonies. You think it is, but it's not because Georgia was. When you go to Florida, it's not a place designed for human life. There's no other place in the world like it. And I don't just mean, oh, they, they, got a little, they get a lot of rain. They get a lot of thunder. That's not like Florida is known for many things. It's the only place on earth that gets as much thunder as it does. But also it's not, there's no foundation in Florida for building actual land. So like you can't build tall there. You can't build anything that lasts there because it's all on sand. It's all shifting sands. But the weather, there's no changes in the weather. And, uh, The worst part about Florida is everything is spread out in a way that you have to have a car to get around, which is an American problem. That's all over America and Canada. But even worse for Florida is that, whereas in a, let's say in an American town that's like a suburban town and say the outskirts in Philadelphia, that's a car dependent society. However, that's a society where like your parents lived there and their parents maybe moved out there. And it used to be a farm, so there's farms nearby. Is this person trying to talk to me? No. And there's farms nearby. It's like it still has elements of a natural society there. Whereas Florida is overrun with, like, retirees. So you'll have these artificial retirement communities that are sort of in these suburban zones that are just old people. And that is not healthy because no one, the only the only people that ever go to Florida, the vast majority of which, they're not productive. They're retired. They're Social Security leeches. And if you're a young person in Florida, you'll see this. You'll see a lot of elderly people just kind of watching TV all day. And it it it, it when you're in Florida, like I delivered pizza in Florida for like a year. And it's like, you're basically, you're basically hospital staff. That's what it feels like. You feel like old home, old person, like retirement home staff when you work in Florida. There's very little young people. And uh, so that's another problem. The third problem I'd say is the entertainment, like economy there now this is now so like europe europe is a tourist hole too but europe is like the reason tourists like it is because the reason tourists like it is because of the history people the tourists like florida because of like corporate like these fake corporate societies like disney world is like a you know this is my problem with universities is universities are like propped up fake societies that like you pay tens of thousands of dollars to participate in for like four years and then they kick you out and the reason people don't go to college is not to get an education they go to college to be a part of a walkable society recording stops when you answer calls what i hate i love it when my phone fucks with me when i'm in the middle of a thought i love it but yeah so kids go to college because they they want to be a part of a walkable kind of urban society in a safe place on a safe campus you know i saw this tiktok where this girl was like oh it's always been my dream to be a pretty girl and go to a a frat house and it's like they don't they don't no one no one's going to college because they want to take they want to go to classes they they go to college because they want to be a part of a community of young people their age so they pay so universities sort of have a monopoly on that in the united states because the united states is a car dependent society where you need a car to go everywhere and there's no sense of community because everyone's in a boxed in little you know suburban house and like there's like no community like i literally i don't know any of these fucking people these are all my neighbors i'm walking around on my fucking street right now i don't know a single one of these fucking people so i know i know the person directly next to me and the person directly across from me that's it 
and I like never talk to them. And that's not really healthy. Whereas in a university, you like you can walk to your friend's dorm right down the street, right down the right down the fucking hallway. That's like a natural society. That's how European society, you know, developed. If you look at France, if you look at Italy, there are these beautiful naturally forming cities where people walked everywhere. And that's what universities capitalize on. And they're fucking sucking money out of people just to give them this experience of a natural town, basically. But no one's actually doing any work. It's really sad. It's really, really sad. But, uh, yeah, Florida is, like, the problem that America has, but on, a, like, on, a, on like a massive scale. And it sucks because, like, Florida has a lot of nice things about it, but it's definitely not designed for, like, prolonged human habitat like it's not a prolonged human habitat it's 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 you can't grow anything other than oranges there and bananas like i don't know i think you can grow other stuff there but it's like if it wasn't for mosquito like repellent not a single person would live there because before we invented like that shit that you could just spray out of a truck like i remember as, as a kid there would be these trucks that would go by and they would spray just like all the time and if there wasn't for those, you would get literally eaten to death by mosquitoes in Florida. Because it's so wet, it's so swampy, it's so marshy. It's not this tropical la-la-la-la. That's like everything about Florida was built to create that image. So, so that you would go to a theme park there. But that's not how Florida really is. Florida is a hostile, swampy, smelly. It stinks. Florida fucking stinks. It stinks. It stinks like swamp. And there would be mosquitoes infesting every fucking inch of that land everything south of tallahassee would be mosquitoville if it wasn't for human like mosquito death gas so yeah anyway yeah florida's not real people there are like ghosts that's what i was thinking it's just like everything everything about florida it's like it's like it's like it's like you're in hell because everybody there is like on their way to death and they're just, like, on their laurels, just, like, spending the last of their money. Instead of, like, you know, giving it to their kids, you know, these boomers, they, they like to spend the last of the dollars they have. They buy a little condo in Florida, and they just order pizza. They order fucking Pizza Hut pizza. These elderly people. You know, it's so funny. Elderly people have, like, the most childlike tastes because they grew up at the rise of McDonald's and the rise of these fast food chains. So, like, old people will love to go to McDonald's, bro. You go to McDonald's and you see nothing but elderly people. Whereas you you, you see, like, 20-year-olds. 20-year-olds go to, like, you know, the more bougie places. And, of course, obviously, because 20-year-olds are fucking hipsters. But, like, oh, there's people right there. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, that's so awkward. I'm fucking talking to myself in front of these two nice people. But yeah, so like young people, they'll go to, you know, smaller restaurants. They'll go to, you know, no-name restaurants. But old people love McDonald's. They love McDonald's. They love Pizza Hut. It's it's just, it's crazy. <sighs> young people will go to any restaurant too. Like they, they will go to Pizza Hut if they have to. But a young person will like, they'll see a restaurant that they haven't tried before and they'll go to it, to it. You know, they want the experience of the new restaurant. Whereas an old person like... They don't want any new experiences. They, they want to go. They want to go to McDonald's. That's what they want. They're like addicted to it. It's got it's got, it's got cocaine in it or something. <laughs>